Okay. Good morning and welcome to our 2022 Athletic Commitment Ceremony. Today we are gathered to recognize and celebrate the 21 student athletes seated before you. Each of these members have committed to their college choice and will represent their school on their fields of play. Before we begin with our introductions, Mr. Arduini would like to say a few words. Mr. Arduini. Sorry for the delay. We're anticipating though all fines on that AP exam. <laughs> anyway, as Kathy said, welcome to the 2022 St. John's School Athletic Commitment Ceremony. Today we recognize 21 Maverick athletes who have made the decision to continue their athletic career at the college of their choice. Committing to their college to compete is the culmination of a long and demanding recruiting process. Success is only possible through the hard work of the athlete, along with the unwavering support of parents and families. Dedicated coaches are directly involved behind the scenes, advocating the strengths of their athletes. Teammates and friends remain supportive when a prospect is not quite, not quite sure where the process is headed. The athletic department extends to all of you our sincere congratulations. We are confident that you will remain true to our motto of not without honor by conducting yourself in a very honorable way in both the classroom and in competition. We wish you every success as you begin your college career in the fall. Before beginning the ceremony, Please join me in thanking Coach Kathy Halligan, our Athletic Department Recruiting Liaison, and Coach David Cohn for their work in organizing today's event. Thank you, coaches. Talk about service to St. John's. Our Master of Ceremonies today is the voice of the Mass, Coach Stokey Whitman. Coach Whitmore is completing his 40th year of service at St. John's School. Please join me in welcoming and congratulating Coach Whitmore. And here we go. 20 minutes behind. Thank you all for joining us today. Great day, St. John. Uh, okay. What a great day for St. John's School. This is the first time we've done this ceremony and we're very pleased to do it. Let's start with this group. Starting on your left, my right, and with Todd Aka, Carnegie Mellon University, swimming. <laughs> and Tiska All State Honors for Four years, Todd graduates from St. John's, a record holder in the 200 IM, the 500 free straw, oh, that's a long one, and the 400 meter free relay. He also holds SBC South Zone meet records in these events. Coach Raver and Coach Presley have this quote, both mentally and physically tough, Todd has only just begun realizing his limitless potential as he continues forward into his collegiate journey. And you can also surf on the wake he makes in the pool. <laughs> Tadeka! I just want to thank everybody who helped me along the way. My parents and everything you've done for me. Uh, my teammates really made a journey together. Uh, my coaches helped me improve and keep going. And my friends for all the support. Uh, thank you for all Mia is a two-time North American Cup medalist, has attended the Junior Pan American Championships and Youth Pan American Games, and is currently a member of the Jamaican national team. Coaching her, quoting her coach, Mia, Houston's very own, Aria Stark, brash, bold, 
and bloody brilliant continue to feed your unquenchable appetite for everything, and you will amaze the world. Mia Bradford. St. John's. Quoting Coach Evans, 
I love watching Matthew play the game. He has such a calming presence about him. One of the smoothest players I have seen come through St. John's. Matthew Chaka. Thank you all for coming. I just want to thank uh, my teammates for supporting me all the time. My coaches, not only in baseball, but in volleyball and basketball, for pushing me to be the best athlete I can be. And to my uh, family, especially my parents, for taking me on this, all, all these long drives to play baseball across the season. Washington and Lee, cross country and track and field. All SBC 4x800 meter relay team her junior year was voted team captain of the cross country team her senior year and all SBC senior year in cross country. Voting coach Pat Ray and Ricardo, Sarah has been an incredible leader and teammate. Her dedication, discipline, toughness, and pursuit of success are admirable and never fail to amaze and inspire us. Sarah Fox.
to one of the most outspoken and influential leaders on her track team. Hannah was motivated and pushed her peers throughout the entire pandemic and had made her mark as one of the fastest female sprinters to walk the halls of St. John's. Swarthmore Track is in good hands with Hannah.
with Richie and William Mercado. Thank you for allowing me. So we practice 30 minutes early every single day to ride. And thank you to Klein Stuff for treating all of my various injuries without too much complaint. Duncan McLaren. Second team all state and a nominee for the Houston Private School Lineman of the Year. As a wrestler, he placed top 12 at Prep Nationals his junior year and was SBC runner up and top five in state his senior year. He was also an SBC qualifier in the discus both junior and senior years. Quoting Coach Belcher, Duncan is a nine to five worker. He shows up on time every day ready to work. His growth on the field is matched only by the growth of him as a person, both on and off the field. Duncan McLaren. So first of all, I'd like to thank my mother who's up front, my dad who's recovering from knee surgery right now, because they've both have been with me since third grade, SFL, and making sure I always like got to practice on time. And they've been just a huge support. The next, I'd like to thank Coach Veltri, who's sort of providing me the path to actually getting to Chicago. It's been such a great ride these last three years. And next, I'd like to thank Coach Paul, my wrestling coach, who really taught me how to work hard and actually like become a person that I'd like to be. And finally, I'd like to thank the trainers who've saved me several times from all the like ankle injuries I've had. And it's been a great ride. Thank you all. I don't know if you saw this, Christopher Means ran the fastest he's ever run to get over here from that AP exam. He was the lead person getting over here. Christopher Means, Batson College Baseball. Christopher has been a two-year varsity winner winner for our Maverick baseball team and ended his senior year batting an impressive 333. Quoting Coach Everett. I am so proud of Chris and all the work he's done behind the scenes that we all take for granted sometimes. His game time grand slam on senior night was one of the top moments we have ever witnessed at St. John's. Pressure for me. Um, I just want to thank all the coaches for helping me get to be where I am today, especially Coach Campbell. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout my whole process and driving me everywhere in the summer to play baseball. Thank you. Mason Miller, Rhodes College, Lacrosse. Mason was one of this year's lacrosse captains, a two-time All-State selection, honorable mention All-District, All-SBC, and a four-year letter winner. Quoting Coach Quam Kuhn, Mason is a selfless leader who is willing to do whatever work is required, but also ensure those around him are taken care of. He's disciplined, he's focused, and will do whatever it takes to win the right way on and off the field. He has left an indelible mark on our lacrosse program and impacted his teammates for years and years to come. Mason Muller. So I want to thank my mom and dad, who I'm blessed and honored to call my parents, uh, my sister and my grandparents for always being there and supporting me, uh, my coach and trainer for putting up with me, uh, most importantly my teammates uh, for making me look way better than I actually am. Uh, good luck next season and I'm going to miss you all. John Purdue, Brown University, football. This will take a second. Senior year, John was football captain, all SBC, first team Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All State, first team Padilla Cole All State, and Academic All State. As a Maverick wrestler, he was undefeated his senior year in Texas and finished his career with 130 wins. He was two times all SBC, three times all state two times state champion, and two times All-American. 
Now, quoting Coach Valtteri and Coach Paul, that's a good one. John is everything that encompasses being a captain. He is a leader. He motivates and he loves. And this one? This is not me. This is Coach Paul. If I had a daughter, John could take her out on a date. <laughs> and I've said John, come here. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Um, I think two of my fellow captains said it best this fall. If you asked the seniors three years ago if someone from this school could play Division I football, they would have told you, unless you're a freak athlete, it's not possible. And as I got my offers this summer, I started to think, I was like, that, that can't be true. But as I think about it more and I look back, I realize that that those seniors were right in a way that I don't think they anticipated. Um, without this community, this doesn't happen. This achievement is completely a result of this community, and I honestly think that me personally has very little to do with this. It's a result of the loudest student section in the SBC. It's a result of my parents' unconditional love no matter what, my coaches giving me right and supporting me no matter what, and I genuinely cannot thank this place enough. I love it here, and I'm sad to leave, and seriously, I'll do my best at the next level to represent you all and thank you the right way. Thank you. Matthew Perez, University of Chicago Wrestling. Matthew, Matthew was the team's most improved wrestler sophomore year, and an SBC third place finisher his junior year. Senior year, he finished top six Bacchus, was a prep slam fourth place, an SBC champion, and a state runner up. He was also two times All-State. Quoting Coach Paul, don't let Matthew's status as the head prefect fool you. He's a mean man on the map. And thus he is affectionately known as Pitbull Matthew Perez. Um, Coach Paul for believing in me when I was a tiny freshman. Coach Jolis for the countless hours. I want to thank my friends for always making me laugh. Uh, I want to thank my teachers. And then finally, I want to thank my parents uh, for all their support and for not forcing me to swim freshman year because we all know I'd be a terrible swimmer. <laughs> so, Washington and Lee Wrestling. an SBC third place finisher his junior year and an SBC runner-up and state runner-up his senior year. He was also two times All-State. Another Coach Paul quote, William is an old soul. Often I couldn't tell who was I was talking to on the phone, William or his father. <laughs> William Sutton. I want to thank my teammates for all the good memories and for making me passionate about sport wrestling. I want to thank my coaches, Coach Jones, Campbell, Coach Paul, and Coach Donner for just developing me as a person and as an athlete. I want to thank my parents. It's pretty special to never have to wrestle a match without one of you watching. Thank you. Next is Caroline Timms, Rice University. Cross country and track and field. <laughs> Caroline was named captain by her teammates in cross country her junior year and track and field her senior year. She was an integral part of the SBC runner up cross country team her sophomore year and during her junior year she was voted the track team's most outstanding female athlete and earned all SBC on that 4x800 meter relay. Quoting Coach Walters, her track coach, Caroline is a hard-working athlete that throws herself into absolutely the best each and every running event. 
joining her older brother as an owl jerk and wearing that owl blue and gray, I have no doubt that she will continue to have that same spark moving forward just down in South Main. Caroline Tim. Best athlete I could possibly be. And finally, to my teammates and my friends for supporting me this journey. Thank you. And thank you. Nathan Wilson, Whitman College Baseball. And three year under winner this season, Nathan led the baseball team with the best batting average in the category where he had the most hit by pitches. But it was amazing guiding catches in center that made the sports center top 10 plays of the day. Quoting Coach Evers, Nate is a competitor. I believe he would want to always be remembered as the guy who leaves it all on the field. He plays the game the right way and is a great role model for younger players. I have no doubt Nathan will continue to be a leader in whatever he chooses in my life for years to come. Nathan Wilson. I can't thank my uh, parents enough for getting me to this uh, moment. Also my brother for always pushing me to be a better baseball player and my coaches for always pushing me from the weight room on the baseball field, like on the track, getting faster. And also my teammates and um, friends for always pushing me to be a better person as well as a better athlete. Thank you, and go Blues. And last but not least, Ashley Yin, Yale University Golf. <laughs> Ashley was second place All-SBC her freshman year, South Zone champion her junior year, and the Mavericks team captain and team MVP for two years. This year, her fourth place finish at SBC helped the Mavericks to clinch the SBC Team Championship for the fifth year in a row. Quoting Coach Solomon, it's rare to come across an elite athlete talent that also possesses intelligence, leadership, and maturity in the way that she competes. From, from Coach Solomon's perspective, Ashley is a generational talent. Ashley Young. I want to thank everyone who has been here for me through all this journey. Thank you to my parents and siblings for your unwavering love and support. My friends and teammates for always being there to cheer me on. And my teachers and coaches Solomon, Lee, Tiffany, and Neil for guiding and encouraging me. I really wouldn't be here today without you all. Family, friends, coaches, teammates, teachers, administrators, and those of you watching from home, can we get a three-second countdown so these parents can get their pins ready? And we will sign and make it official. Three, two, one.